hello everyone welcome to another video now this is going to be a very quick video most of you will know if you follow the channel that i have had loads of problems lately with stuttering every now and again the game would freeze then continue and it was a real pain in the backside now i thought that it was an eye racing problem for a long time because it didn't happen on any of the simulator but it turns out in my case at least it isn't now i would like to say that I'm some computer wizard and I figured this out all on my own, but I didn't. I've got to give a massive shout out to Dean Diltz. Now, Dean commented on one of my videos telling me how he fixed his, then sent me a message on the iRacing forums. So, Dean, you are a legend. And the thing that was causing my issue was CPU core parking. And by doing this, it would appear at the moment that it's completely fixed my issue. I did a lot of testing at Daytona in the GT3, fine. I did a race at the Nordschleife, completely fine. Everything is buttery smooth. So, enough talking, I'll show you what I did. So, to see if your system has any parked cores, we're going to press the Windows key, and we're going to type in Resource Monitor. And you can see it there on the list. Click that. And at the top, might be on Overview to start with, click on CPU. And then on the right-hand side, it will list all of the cores that you have for your CPU and you can see on mine some of them are parked not all of them but some of them are parked that means that they're having a little nap they're not needed but when the computer needs them they'll spring into action and give you that extra processing power but that causes stutters lag etc we want to get rid of that so most of them are parked right now doing absolutely nothing so we need to fix that so next we're going to go into the registry editor so we'll close down that Press the Windows key, we'll type in Reg Edit. And that will open up there the registry editor. Click that, say yes. And then on the left hand side here, if you follow these steps, you can't go wrong. So we're going to go to H key local machine. And then we're going to go to system. And then we're going to go to current control set. Right click that and click find. Now here you're going to paste in this string which I've linked down below and we're going to click on find next it will search the registry and it will give you this list so I want to click on value max double click that and there mine says 64 we're going to change that to zero and that is going to tell the computer that we don't want any cores parked then close down that and restart the system so now we're back up and running We'll click on resource monitor once again, go to CPU, all my cores are there, but you'll see now none of them are parked. They're all there ready. And that has fixed my problem. So there we go, short video, easy fix, hopefully, if you're suffering from the same problems that I was. iRacing actually mentioned this on their problem solving guide if you're having stutters, but for some reason, I just didn't look at it. But bear in mind, I'm on Windows 11, so doing it on Windows 10 might be slightly different. So let me know down below in the comments if it fixes your issue. And if it does, let's all give some claps to Dean Diltz down in the comments. Anyway, hope it helps. Thanks for watching. See you later. Cheers.